Good morning, persistent ones. The word persistence means patience, endurance, constancy, steadfastness, and perseverance. Hebrews 5.12 tells us this, through faith and patience, we inherit the promises. I believe the number one temptation we face as believers is not the temptation to be immoral or to lie or cheat, but the temptation to give up. Satan does not want us to fulfill our destinies. He wants us to give up on ourselves, our marriages, and especially on our commitment to God. He doesn't like the fact that you got started in your Christian life. Now, he can't do anything about that, but he will do everything he possibly can to keep you from finishing your race. That's why we've got to tap into the power of persistence. Paul says in 1 Corinthians 9.24, Do you not know that in a race all the runners run, but only one gets the prize? Run in such a way as to get the prize. We've got to stand strong, determined, and have a made-up mind that whatever comes against us in life, we're going all out with God, and nothing is going to shake our faith and cause us to give up. Proverbs 24.10 says, If you faint in the day of adversity, your strength is small. We can't get down and discouraged every time a little opposition comes across our path. We've got to stand strong and persevere day in and day out, in the good times and in the tough times. Paul tells us in Ephesians 6, 13 through 14a, Therefore, take up the whole armor of God that you may be able to withstand in the evil day and having done all, to stand. Stand, therefore. The people that experience God's best are the people that have a persistent attitude toward the Word of God. Anyone can quit. Anyone can give up. That's the easy way out. But God is looking for people that have a backbone made of steel. The Bible says in Hebrews 11:6 that God is a rewarder of those who diligently seek Him. God is looking for people that are extremely determined, people that have a made-up mind, people that have their faces set like flint. The scripture says in 1 Corinthians 15, 58, Therefore, my beloved brethren, be steadfast, immovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. Notice that the word always abounding means that perseverance should become a habit. But we must understand that just as standing strong and persevering can become a habit, so can quitting and giving up. But family, God has given us the Holy Spirit. Philippians 4.13 says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I exhort you today to latch on to the promises of God and determine in your hearts that you are going to stand fast and firm until you see that promise come to pass. Heavenly Father, I want you to reveal your goodness, your mercy, your grace, and your unconditional love to my brothers and sisters. Make it clear to them what a high price Jesus paid for them to be free to know their true identity and how valuable they are to you. You are an amazing God, full of mercy and truth. Thank you that my brothers and sisters can have a relationship with you. And I bless you for your glorious word. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, God bless you guys. I pray today that you listen only to the voice of the Good Shepherd. And if you were encouraged and would like to donate to our ministry, simply go on to gordonministries.org and click donate. I love you today and am praying for you.